Good evening, good evening everyone. How are you? This is Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. And I am going to do a Christmas wreath for you guys tonight. And this is the sign we're going to use. Don't you love it? And we have, of course, coordinating ribbon. So I have this ribbon. Look at that and this ribbon that we're going to use. So this is available in my Etsy shop as a kit with the ribbon and the sign. Um, in the description, there's a link to purchase it. So go check it out. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get alerts when I go live. So let me bring you down and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be using this snowball mesh, and I put the link to it um, on the on the um, description as well. And I got this from Craft Outlet. We're using a 14-inch wreath frame, and I know I've showed you guys before, but I will show you again pipe cleaner at each of the crossbars on the inner row, a half pipe cleaner across from those on the third bar, and then a full pipe cleaner in the center. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And this is the very last piece on the roll. So as you can see, it's really tightly round. So you want to try and use the real tight pieces on the bottom first. So what I do is I just take it and I tuck a little bit of the under, like a half inch to an inch, something like that. And then this has lines you can follow. So you hold it with your thumb and then gather it with your fingers. And you do want to try and stay as straight as possible. And if you have trouble with this, you can lay something heavy on your mesh and it will help to hold it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one in each of the half pipe or each of the pipe cleaners and the half pipe cleaners I do not use for ribbon I only use it for mesh so once I get my ruffles in there I will tuck those under and out of the way so there's our first ruffle so I try to use the um, pipe cleaners that are like tight ones like the one of the bottom ones on the row on the bottom row it's just a preference I have so if you have trouble rolling it out so what I do is you can use anything anything heavy that'll hold it down and like I said I just tuck a little piece of that under and then hold it with your thumb and start gathering so you see I'm using the stapler to hold it in place so that's going to help you keep it straighter and then when you get to the end, you just kind of push it off and you're done. And then you have like a little bow tie, okay? So we're gonna put that in all of the pipe cleaners. So we started out in the half pipe cleaner. Now we're gonna go to the next one. And you wanna try and center it in that ruffle and then give a good one, two twist. Okay, so now we've got two on there. And we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around your wreath okay again if it's harder to kind of ruffle as you go use something to put it on there and then just hold it with your thumbs and ruffle down the center and just push that off tuck that little edge under and hold on to it and there you go okay now we're at another half pipe cleaner I'm going to stick that right in the pipe cleaner, pull up on those, and then tighten it really well. I usually give it around three or four good twists, and then I tuck that pipe cleaner under out of the way. If you want to cut it, you can cut it. I just kind of like to leave it on there. Again, the same thing. Kind of get it set up there, and then just fold a little edge under. I just fold the edge under so the rough edge doesn't um, show and you get a little less of the, um, you know, the, the mesh kind of unruffling or, you know, getting those rough edges. 
Okay, hope you guys are all doing well. Again, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon. And if you could share this video, I would really appreciate it. Okay, I love this um, snowball mesh. This is the 10 inch and you want to cut your mesh to 20 inches. If you cut it to 20 inches, you will get 18 pieces out of it. And the way I make my wreath frames, that's how many um, pipe cleaners I put on my wreath frame. Now, if you want fuller ruffles, you can cut 30 inches, but you'll, you'll use a roll and a half of mesh. So it just depends how you want to do it. I tend to stick with the 20 inch because then I'm only using one roll of mesh, but it still gives you a nice full ruffle. But it's totally up to you. So again, I just tuck that edge under and hold it with my thumb and kind of pull it with my finger staying in the center. And then you have your little bow. And we're just gonna, like I said, keep going around. And twist and twist. If I'm gonna, like the full pipe cleaners, I put my ribbon in. So I just usually twist those two times around. The half pipe cleaners I only use for the mesh. It's just kind of a system that I developed, um, or that I use, not developed, that I use for myself. If you, you know, want to do all pipe, full pipe cleaners, you can. It's totally up to you. It's just my preference. So go check out my Etsy shop. I have lots of wreaths on there. I have lots of ribbon and sign combos or just signs. So go check that out. Okay. Now you can coordinate your um, pipe cleaners this way with your mesh. I wanted to do it with the red to kind of make them stand out, but you could have used white pipe cleaners with this. It's totally up to you. I like making my own work frames because that way I can control where the pipe cleaners are, how they're spaced out, um, what colors I use because I do usually coordinate with the sign or the mesh or something like that. So that's why I kind of like to use my own. But again, if you want to make the pre-made, if you want to use the pre-made work frames, that's totally up to you. I've just always preferred, you know, the 14 inch from the Dollar Tree. So it's just a preference. Hope your summer's going well. Can you believe it's already July, the end of July? It's crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> okay, again, I just tuck them out of the way. Because we are not going to put mesh in those, or ribbon in those. But look how pretty that snow mesh is. I love the snow mesh. This is considered the snowball mesh. I did give you the number in the description of the video if you're interested in that. Also in that description is a link to the signs and custom wreaths. So if you're interested in a um, custom sign, just message me on Etsy. That's the best place to kind of get in touch with me for that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Just have two more to go on the bottom row or the outer row and then we will move to the inner row and you'll see even how nice and full it is with just that bottom row or outer row on it kind of move our pipe cleaners because they kind of get all stuck together there put that in again you want to try and center it in the um, pipe cleaner in the center of that ruffle. So I have one, two, three, and then I fold that under and tuck it away. Okay, and then you just want to kind of fix your ruffle there. Right, 
one more on the bottom and then we're ready to move to the inner row or the top row. Again, I just tuck about a half an inch to an inch under, hold it with my thumb and gather it with my fingers. And when I get to the end, I tuck that in as well. So this is the last one on the bottom row. You kind of have to move those other ruffles out of the way to get to them. One, two, four, that one. And then we're done the outer row. Okay, so look how full it is already. And we just, we still have to fill in the inner row. So now we're gonna do the last six on the inner row. Again, tuck that under, hold it with your thumb and gather it or pull it towards you with your fingers. And you do wanna try and stay in the center of that ruffle. And it does wanna kinda of move around on you, so you just kinda of have to hold on to it there. Okay, find the pipe cleaner and put those in. And I make that nice and tight and I just do it tight and then two twists to hold it into place. Okay, there's one. Again, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon. When you hit that little bell icon, it'll give you alerts every time I upload a new video or go live. I'm usually live every Monday and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So look for me here. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. I do try to go back and answer any questions that anyone may have. Bring those ruffles up. Hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Hopefully you're getting out and about. And I know not too much with all this COVID going on. But hopefully you're able to go on vacation and that kind of stuff. So okay, you kind of have to move that mesh out of the way to find your next set of pipe cleaners because it all kind of moves together. Twist it twice and then fix that ruffle and you're all set. <clears throat> Alrighty. And you're just going to pull with your fingers gather in the center to make your little look bow tie looking and move that mesh out of the way find your next pipe cleaner and put it right in and then you want to twist twist okay two more You have to comment below and let me know like where you guys have gone on vacation this year or where you're planning on going or if because of this COVID you're going to be stuck at home. We are in Myrtle Beach on vacation right now. Hopefully they don't close the beaches. <laughs> so I'm recording this for you guys so you have a video to watch while I'm gone because I'm usually live. All right, last one, and then we are ready for the fun part. Okay, there we go. Last ruffle. Kind of have to move stuff out of the way to find it. Open that pipe cleaner up and Twist and twist. Okay, so we've got that in there. I want to adjust all of the ruffles. Okay, so now we're just going to go through and find all of our pipe cleaners in here and open them up so it's ready for our ribbon. <coughs> oh, 
Okay. So I just love this mesh and the ribbon and the side. I mean, look how pretty. It just goes perfectly with this. So we're going, these are cut to 12 inches. I have the snowman head, which matches the sign. And then I have this really fun, look at that. I love that mesh or that ribbon with the stripe and it's got that little snow edge on it. Oh, love it. So I overlap them on top of each other, fold it in half, and then you can lay it down and gather it together. Now you do want to pay attention to how you're putting these in because they do have a print on them. So you want all the snowman heads to kind of go the same way. Like that. See? Look at that. Okay, so we're going to do that in each of the full-size pipe cleaners. Again, the half-size pipe cleaners, I tuck away so I don't use them again. Again, you just want to make sure that all of those snowman heads are going the same direction. And we're going to put one in each of the full pipe cleaners. And I'm pulling the red, lime, and green ribbon down and kind of setting the snowman ribbon around like that. So just to recap, the mesh is cut to 20 inches and then we did ruffle, the ruffle method. And then the ribbon is cut to 12 inches and we just stack them on top and set them in. And like I said, you want to make sure and pay attention to the direction that your snowman ribbon is going so that they're all going in the same direction. I love it. I love it. I love this new ribbon with the snow on the edges. Now, if you wanted to, you could use red mesh, you could use lime green mesh. Really, the possibilities are endless. You could use the poof method, the ruffle method, the woodland ruffle. I mean, any method you want, it's going to turn out beautiful. And I may put some, I don't know. I was thinking about putting some deco mesh tubing in, but we'll see once we get around there. I'm not sure. And again, I'm paying attention to how I'm putting in these snowman head ribbons so that they're all going in the same direction. And I'm pulling these tails down and these over. I'm kind of bebopping right now between Christmas and Halloween and fall. It's just a nice switch to kind of do a couple different things at the same time. You have to let me know if you guys are making anything fun. If you guys are making Christmas, if you're making fall, Halloween, if you're still making summer. As wreath makers, we usually are about three to four months ahead. And of course, with Christmas, we always start early anyway. You know, you have Christmas in July, all that going on. So, but I love how this ribbon just matches. I love this striped ribbon. I have this in a two and a half inch too. So I will be trying to do something with that as well coming up. So if you guys have any ideas for signs that you want to see or a sign and ribbon combo you want to see, let me know and I would love to make that. Before I started making signs, I always wanted to coordinate my signs and my ribbon. I just liked that look. So when I started making the signs, I was so excited to be able to do that. 
Okay. And I just kind of make a little bird and then put it in each of the pipe cleaners. And I'll show you why I don't put it in the half pipe cleaners so you can kind of get an idea of why. When I make my wreath, I do like to see some of the mesh, right? I know it's just like the foundation, um, but I kind of like to see some of that come through. And I feel like if you put it in all of those pipe cleaners, the half ones, you have so much ribbon that you really don't get to see any of the beautiful mesh. So again, it's just my preference. You can do it any way you want. It's just the way I kind of like to do it. So see, here is that other half pipe cleaner right there. So if we had the ribbon there, you'd have so much ribbon, but I do like to see that mesh. Now that's just my preference, but it's totally up to you. Again, the mesh is cut to 20 inches, and we did the ruffle method, and then the ribbons are cut to 12 inches. And like I said, you always want to pay attention if your ribbon has a certain pattern on it um, of how you're putting it in so that it's all going in the same direction. decide if we're going to do the mesh tubing or not. A lot of times I like to decide when I get the wreath put together because sometimes what you have in mind doesn't always come to fruition. So last ribbon tails here. I'm so excited. You guys will have to look for, I'm going to be making some personalized Christmas ornaments this year. So I'll be, um, once I get some of them made, I'll show you guys what they look like and then you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. So how that will work is you will send me pictures and then I can put them right on to the ornament. Look at that. Love it. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I want to use this or not. I have this dark green. And I also have red. So let's try one and just see if we're going to like it or not. Okay, let's see here. Find the end. Okay. Let's cut one piece. I like to cut mine about 36 inches, so about a yard, and we'll see if we like it. It might be too dark of a green. Oops. I must knock that off my table. There we go. Okay, so what I do is I take my mesh tubing and I fold it in half. in half again. And this is really curly. And you can do it even in half again. And then put it in there. And then we will twist our pipe cleaners around it. I kind of like it. It brings out the darker green. What do you guys think? Like that? Maybe we'll alternate one green, one red. Okay, let's see here. I like that piece. Let's see how we like that. Okay, so again, we just take it, cut it 36 inches, fold it in half, in half again. And depending on how big you want them, you can do them 
bigger or smaller. I'm going to do these a little smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to set them in there like that. Twist these pipe cleaners up. And then just kind of spread them out a little bit. Kind of looks like a little flower in there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a green one and I'm going to alternate. And again, these are being cut 36 inches. And I just basically fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half. And I'm going around the bottom row first, and then I'll come back and do the inner row. Bottom row, top row, inner row, outer row. I call it all kinds of things. <laughs> just adds another layer, another texture to your wreath. Kind of spread them out. See? Get a couple of these cut. alternate between the red and the green. I'll put a red in every other one and then a green in every other one. You know, you can leave it long like that if you want. These I'm just going to make a little smaller. Kind of make it like a little flower. So you just tuck it in there. I'm tighten that zip, the pipe cleaner pretty good. I just twist those. Twist, twist, twist. And then just kind of spread out the tubing to make it look like a little flower. So let's get these cut. Just kind of spread that out. Pull your tails down. Like that. And then we'll go to the red one. And half and half and half. Put that one in. And then this is the last one on the outer row. And we will move to the inner row. I really like using the um, mesh tubing. I enjoy it. Okay, and then spread them out a little bit. And there we go. Alright, so let's start the inner row. And again, this mesh tubing is cut to 36 inches. Now if you wanted to cut it a little longer you could. Like I said you can um, not fold it as many times. Whatever you prefer. Green one, 
just curl up those pipe cleaners. You can cut them off if you want. I just like to curl them and kind of make them part of the decoration of the wreath. Spread them out. There we go. Smashed. So you always have to go back and re-fluff your ribbons and fix your stuff, but that's okay. Don't open them up those ties. Some people, you know, open them up each time. I don't. I just put it right on top. Again, just spread them out. Fix your ribbons. Okay, now we're on the last red one. just have to put the sign on. I'm going to make sure those twist ties are nice and tight so that your ribbon and your um, mesh tubing doesn't go flying out there. Okay, we're done with that. we have left to do is get our sign on. Let me think. Okay, so I use 26 gauge wire to attach my sign. And I use about, I don't know, 10-12 inches. I always cut it long. Um, you can always, you know, cut it off if it's too long, but I always think it's better to have a too long than too short. Okay, so four, whoops, four pieces of that. Then we're going to get our little um, tool here that puts the hole in the sign, and it's just a little jewelry hole punch. You can get them at Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, AC Moore. Well, no AC Moore. I keep saying AC Moore. Um, Amazon, and it just puts teeny tiny little holes in there which is perfect for your now, I think... Let's see if we can get away with two and I just take the wire and feed it through you want to feed it through from the front to the back and you want to be careful because this wire is sharp so if you poke yourself it will hurt. Okay. So just twist that around. Get the next one. And if you feel like you want, you know, all four holes, you can do four. It's totally up to you. With the rectangle signs, I usually always do four holes, but the round ones, sometimes I do two holes, sometimes I do four. All right, let's get this sign on here. Now, if you want to add a bow, you can put your sign over here and a big bow here, or your sign up here and a bow down here. Going to feed it through the mesh find our crossbar and you don't want to pull your sign down into the wreath you want it to sit on top of your mesh just 
wrap it around that crossbar. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing up here. Beat it through the mesh, and if you can find a crossbar, that's great, so then it won't slide from side to side. back and fix those ribbons. Get them where you want them. They hide underneath the sign. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will be back from vacation soon. And don't forget to check out all the different sign and ribbon combos I have in my shop. I have this sign in this and the orange one. I have this one is a ribbon combo. This one is a ribbon combo. This one is a ribbon combo. The trick or treat with the bats. Um, I have all kinds of signs. I have this one if the shoe fits. Look how cute this one is with the candy sweets for Santa. Um, gnomes. I have all kinds of signs in my shop. I did one in the um, black and white too with the stripe like this because I do have a ribbon to match that so I will be adding that one as well. But lots of goodies in my shop so please go check them out. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Again, Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Bye!